only on six. A Central Florida bank heist mystery that has police baffled. New Six has learned thieves were able to clean out safe deposit boxes without a trace. How did they get away with it? Here's News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld. Good evening. What we've uncovered is a bank vault mystery. Imagine opening up your safe deposit box, all the contents gone, and in its place, a bizarre calling card. A lock? A broken, drilled out lock from other safety deposit boxes. I don't know where it came from, I, but it was in there. A drilled out Mosler lock, to be exact. The lone clue in a safe deposit box mystery that has bank investigators and Seminole County detectives baffled. I was thinking there must be a mistake. Maybe they just moved my money and you know, I was just like so shocked. It was her father's money. $43,000 in cash placed in envelopes like these over the last five years. Gone without a trace. That lock a sort of calling card. My lock was not damaged from the front at all. There was no trauma, no scarring, nothing. No, no scratches, nothing from the front, no. Monica Pilato made the discovery on April 6th here at a Bank of America branch in Seminole County. The bank manager told detectives she last opened the safe deposit box October 20th, 2015. Six months later, that drilled out lock, screws, and a broken metal plate were all that remained. I know I didn't take it, and I know I didn't put that in there. For the record, she still had the key. But 24 hours later, we had a new lead. About 30 minutes away in the town of Deland, it happened again. It's too similar. It's too odd. It cannot be a coincidence. Veteran attorney Darren Elkin represents customers of this Bank of America branch. The evidence, almost identical. A safe deposit box contents gone. An old lock, this time a Diebold left behind. What are the most obvious similarities? The locks were picked. The locks were not drilled because the keys, the box holder's keys still worked. There are tools right now that you can buy on eBay that will open every box in that, in that vault in three seconds. Dave McGuinn is considered one of the country's top experts on safe deposit damage, break-ins, and loss. We spoke to him via Skype. These particular details on these two cases that we're talking about right now, I have never seen this happen before ever, nationwide. News 6 shared our exclusive photos with McGuinn. The former Texas banker is convinced there may be dozens of victims out there right now who have no idea they've been hit. If you can hit one, you can hit 10, because it doesn't take that long to get in them if you have the training, the tools, and the opportunity to do what somebody has done in, the, in both of these. In fact, there could be hundreds of victims, but there's something else. What about the contents? They're not insured by the bank or FDIC. Our investigation is just beginning. Mike Holfeld, News 6. Now, a spokesman for Bank of America tells News 6, we are aware of the claims and we are looking into them. Security is one of our primary concerns for our safe deposit box customers, and we take steps to help ensure the security of our customers' contents. As Mike said, safe deposit box, they're not insured. For more information on this investigation, go to clickorlando.com, powered by News 6. Fascinating stuff there.